whatever we do, whatever we say, find the uh, And I agree, I totally agree with that. Well, I don't want to, but no. it, that it's important when you are stopping things. It's so cool. Maybe it's that's the that's maybe that's that's process is incomplete. The first argument is Bosnian society today. I mean, the number one problem for most Bosnians is to ask a very basic question. What do Bosnians live of today? And if we then look, secondly, at uh, the Bosnian political elites and Bosnian administrations and governments, and at the depth of the social and economic crisis, uh, we shouldn't be surprised to find that uh, they are struggling enormously. In fact, find it impossible to really provide credible responses. Trying to describe those weaknesses in a way that doesn't have to use this accusatory language of uh, the nationalists or the communists or, uh, or the thieves or the corrupt elite, beginning to understand some of these problems. And then finally describing the tension between those two, the crisis in Bosnian society, the crisis in the economy, the weakness of institutions, and the enormous temptation for the international community to step in and try to solve the problems on behalf of the Bosnians. And this creates a vicious cycle. And this is what we need to begin to, to grasp analytically, but also describe uh, with those, with those, in those ways, to show how one might be able to break out of that vicious cycle so that Bosnia could actually be seen and be treated and become like any other post-socialist European country and can be helped in this way as well.